in Puerto Rico, a balanced budget signed by the governor was certified by the Financial Oversight and Management Board. The new fiscal budget brings increases for the University of Puerto Rico and the municipalities. It also allocates $86 million for increases to teachers and educational personnel. Francis Felix has the story. For your interest in, in and commitment to our common goal of a better Puerto Rico. The approval of the Commonwealth's budget for fiscal year 2024 represents another milestone on our road to fiscal responsibility and sustainable economic growth in Puerto Rico. After signing the budget for fiscal year 2023-2024 that already began, which was certified by the Financial Oversight and Administration Board, the governor of Puerto Rico, Pedro Pierluisi, revealed that the same directly attends to the needs of the municipalities, increases allocations to the University of Puerto Rico, and the public service reform. Also, the classification plan of the judicial branch the improvements to the police retirement system and increases to the personnel of the educational system, among others. I am pleased to recognize that the budget largely reflects the programmatic priorities of the government and the people of Puerto Rico. Although, as is to be expected, we did not agree 100% on everything, more than 95% of the budget reflects a consensus between the government and the oversight board said Pierluisi during the public meeting. During his speech, Pierluisi highlighted that this new budget, which amounts more than $12 million, meets the needs of municipalities, providing them with access to over $239 million, including the new Fund for Essential Services. Also, it reflects an increase in the contribution of the central government in the allocations to the UPR that amounts to over $600 million. In addition, it includes $95 million to continue the public service reform, $35 million for the classification and compensation plan of the judicial brand, and $73 million to continue improving retirement benefits for police officers. It also has $86 million for increases for teachers and educational personnel and $30 million to guarantee the salaries of PREPA employees who have moved to the central government and $2.7 million to hire social workers. Regarding the process of the debt adjustment plan of the Electric Power Authority, Pierluisi defined it as a crucial element of the transformation process of the electrical system and therefore of the future economic development of Puerto Rico. In simple words, if we do not resolve this issue, we will not be able to achieve our goal of having a resilient, reliable, modern, and affordable electrical system, he said. Recently, Judge Taylor Swain ruled that the authorities' bondholders have an unsecured claim against the authority of only $2.38 billion, a 75% reduction compared to the approximately $9 billion that the bondholders claim. Precisely last March, Pierluisi rejected the agreement in support of the debt restructuring of the authority that he inherited and that only caught his debt by 33%. Reporting from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Frances Félix for One Caribbean News.